In this video I will show you how to uh, use a navigation um, element in WinUI 3. So this is my application and I embedded there a nav, uh, or a nav um, control like this one and I explain you how now what it does. You see it uh, that's quite nice and uh, we start in our application. That's our application on the right side on this uh, on the solution, and that's my project. <coughs> and inside the pro project, I uh, implemented this navigation view. I gave it a name, x double point name, and that's a nav view. Um, and I said, okay, whenever there is a selection uh, or selection changed, then go to nav view selection changed. And then inside we have some navigation view uh, elements and there's the navigation view item and there's an icon and the content. Content is the text inside and I gave it a name, x double point name. So that's a global uh, variable. I will see the nav item download name at the back end. So we have uh, those two uh, tab bars or tab elements and then there is a frame and then inside the frame that's the name content frame. Now when we go to the code behind and uh, have a look on this uh, nav view selection changed, uh, go to definition, then we will see inside there the nav view selection change has uh, two arguments here. The first one is the nav view uh, the sender and the second is an argument. Inside there it says okay uh, let's say something with the option how it should react but uh, finally it says uh, the selected item is the navigation view item of arcs so convert this one to a navig navigation view item and that's the selected item by name so uh, when you go there selected a name then you can make compare it with the first uh, element or with the other uh, tapped elements and then you say finally the content frame which is uh, below navigate this one to a page so the page is there so i created two pages uh, like this one go there say uh, add a new a new item and there you may say uh, create a new blank page with win ui3 uh, and when you when you create one like this one that's the what's uh, like a template then you have a, a grid in there and the page uh, page as an element and then inside you may write anything what you want uh, and and in the main window when you're here you may say uh, give me uh, of the type of this type page download this is the my said page download page folder that's the name of that uh, type of this page uh, is a page so type type page and then you navigate to this type of page so that's what happens there and I've also implemented or written the code in there so you may take the code from my website here uh, either this one or yeah, you will find the code on my site um, but let's say here uh, it's not it's not visible there here the you will find the link on there so that's the the code and the lay the code which you find there and go back I started now the application that's what you see and I give you a small small I uh, see switching those pages when I click to folders then it moves then it takes the stuff into the folder um, in this content there's the content there's the frame content frame when you click on the first block on the nav item download for example then it loads inside that content that stuff so when you are there uh, da, 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 here I click now I we do this we click on download then it jumps on with the uh, with the debugger with the breakpoint on that and says the nav view the selected changed and the sender is uh, this uh, the control itself and you change the argument 
from the argument the elect uh, the let's say like this the arguments wait that's on my arguments you will see the arguments there is is selected there's a lot of stuff and there's a selected item and when you convert when you convert the navigation view item the selected item as a navigation view item then you are able to uh, to do some comparisons here you will get the name in there and that's the same name as the uh, as that stuff so now we go to if the name now we have a selected item and the selected item is as you see it has a name and somewhere there the name says okay that's the the, the, the content the content inside somewhere is what's written in there here content 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 here the content is that's the name which which we have labeled it and then if the name is the same name as uh, as one of those items then take this uh, type of that page and then it says the content frame load this one with the navigation so that's it and then you will see it will move there so and that's quite easy you don't need a breakpoint anymore and this this is all with the new windows apps uh, with win ui 3